TVA's Acura Series, Bagara barrels for guaranteed accuracy, nitride for guaranteed rust proofing, and a rifle guaranteed to be the best muzzle loader you've ever shot. CVA, it's just a better gun. This segment's being brought to you by Third Regiment Game Calls, friends, family, and faith in the outdoors. One call at a time. All right, everybody, it's time for this week's Pictures of the Week. They're being brought to you by the correct folks over at Flowers Garden Center and Deer Processing. Y'all can find them at 4550 Eaton's Creek Road in Nashville, Tennessee. Be sure to get down there and let them take care of your deer. They can get you some of the finest snack sticks, bologna, bacon, ground, anything you want. Bacon, burger. Be sure to tell them thank you for everything they do for us here at the show. It looks like they was busy this they weekend. Been busy, I busy, saw some man. pictures. It's like, holy <laughs> crap. Speaking of deer, man, we have had the deer pictures rolling in. Now, this one here, this is Mercedes Ellis, and a lot of you viewers will recognize her. She has been here on the show with us and is uh, now fishing in college at Bethel yep, University, sure but was very successful in the Bass Nation. But it looks like she's pretty good behind the gun, too. So, I congratulations that. on that one, Mercedes. All right, our next picture to this is our buddy Kelly Albert from over at Canine Fishing. And Kelly was most likely, I'm going to say, bass fishing the other day, but uh, he did not mind the fight that he got out of this stripe right here. Really nice fish, Kelly. All right, and this here, this is my buddy Chad C. Now, Chad, he's, he dove hunts with us every year. Helps me set up all the dove fields, and uh, we've done that together for several years. And the other morning on opening day of rifle season, Chad had a good deer come through and was able to make it happen. So congratulations on that one, Chad. And here on the end, this is Paula Smith, and she has got another nice catfish. And she's really been fishing a pretty good bit here yep. lately, Anthony. And I think she caught a bunch of flatheads yesterday. She finally got back into flatheads yep. yesterday, so she was excited about yep. that. She I saw been, that. She'd been fussing because she, if she's not in a flathead, she's not happy. Yep. So congratulations on that one, Paula. You guys can send your pictures to us here at 474 James Robertson Parkway, Nashville, Tennessee. Or get them to me on Facebook or the email on the screen right there, and we'll get them here on the show just as soon as we can. Welcome back to the studio. We are now going to transition over into another deer hunt. We had a great successful youth weekend this year. As a matter of fact, we, we have still got youth hunts that we've not had, you know, got it edited out and made it to the show. Uh, fantastic weekend we had. But the next hunt we're going to go over to, this is going to be our buddy Duck. And Duck is out hunting with his son, Trace. Y'all go pull the fast and don't tell me y'all going to do that today, huh? <laughs> okay. So uh, we're going to be going out on that hunt. They were juvenile hunting you guys. Now, Trace mm -hmm. did actually end up getting a nice buck. He got that in the evening. It was it was just too late. You couldn't really feel yeah, it. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was late evening, Brandon. Uh, we had about 14 deer in the food plot. And a, a scrubby buck came out. And I said, come on, son. Let's go ahead and get him so we can get him on film. And he's like, I don't want to shoot him, you know, and, and I'm watching the clock and it's like, you know, yeah. 532 is, that's yeah. it, no more shooting. Well, and what people, and we've and talked about this quite a bit, but your filming light is over about 10 to 15 is. minutes before your legal shooting light is. And, right. and I told him, I said, and I'm picking the camera up and I look to the right and I see this, that, that one buck look to the corner, this big black body deer walks out and I can see his rack. I said, put your gun out the window and shoot him. <laughs> I said, do not. Ask no questions. Shoot this shoot deer. Now, yes. Yeah. And it was 5:29, and last legal shooting time was 5:32. Yeah. He had three minutes, and I yeah. was like, wow. And yeah. he was a, he, Anthony scored him 126 and 6 eight. <laughs> yeah. Man, he well, was a stud. You still had a good hunt, we because he got a doe earlier. Got and the that's dough. The hunt we're that morning, go on right that now. morning, we got the doe. Um, but just a, again, just a fantastic hunt. You got to spend it with your son, and there ain't nothing like that. No, there's so. nothing like that. And the it, phone man. call right after I got was <laughs> pretty good the, too. Nothing after nothing like that. When your buddies call like that, that's pretty cool. Well, let's go on over and check out Trace's hunt. Good morning. Happy Halloween. It's uh, October 31st, 2020. First day of the youth hunt in West Tennessee. I'm here to stand with my son, Trace, who's actually on the camera right now. Uh, we have seen a couple deer pass already. Give it a little time waiting on a buck. Uh, I want to say good luck to all the youths this morning. And uh, y'all stay tuned. We're going to try to get y'all big old deer on camera today.
holding out on day one and not seeing the buck that he was after, Trace decided he would give him a little time on day two, and if he hadn't showed by later in the morning, it was going to be time to take a doe. Next for you, 15, 15 year old, 15 kills, ain't that something, alright, Duck my dad with D3 Outdoors, down here in West Tennessee filming for Southern Woods and Water TV show, uh, this is the opening weekend of the Youth Hunt 2020, I got my son Trace here, who this morning, y'all just witnessed a little while ago, Laid a smack down on this big old nanny goat that came out. We hunted hard this weekend. Uh, weekend's not over yet. We still got one more afternoon to hunt. Uh, hoping for a big buck. You know, I'm, uh, when the bucks ain't cooperating, something's got to happen. So uh, I want to congratulate all the youth this weekend that was able to hunt and uh, was able to take deer. And uh, hope everyone had a great weekend. Hope y'all enjoyed the footage. And uh, we'll see y'all on the next one. I need to get a piece of skillet meat How to walk and how to hide How to crawl and how to slide How to sneak and stalk and climb And do it all on two light feet All right, welcome back to the studio. Awesome hunt, Doug. That was that was Thanks, really Brandon. cool. Thanks, Brandon. It was fun, man. It nothing was exciting. Like being out there with your kids, you know? nothing like it. Guys, yep. we're gonna go on over and do this week's product of the week. It's being sponsored by the great people over at Caney Fork Outdoors. You guys can find them at cfoutdoors.com, or you can get off I-40 at the Center Hill Dam exit. Go to the bottom of the hill, make a right, and you'll find them down there at the Big Rock Market. Let them take care of all your kayaking needs and get you on the river and get you ready to go. 
All right, what I've got here, guys, you know what this is right here? No, I, was, I saw it sitting there, and I was wondering what it was. All right, well, this is one of my very favorite things to do growing up right here, and this is I had to have me a new squirrel call, man. I, I grew up with a little squirrel call, and there's no telling how many squirrels Dad and I shot using that little call. And this one is from Flex Tone, and it's a, it's a little different design than what I grew up with. Definitely a lot more ergonomic, a lot smaller. Um, but this call, first of all, I picked this up at Academy Sports. You can get them online you can go to flexstone.com there's other places you can get them but if you want to have a lot of fun you get one of these right here and get you a kid and a little 22 rifle and take this out to the woods and it's just a squeaker you know just just I real was, simple i was going to ask you to demonstrate not, not that hard, where I not could. hard to use <laughs> um, but i'm telling you you can just sit still in one spot get your kid up against the old log or something and sit there and call and you'd be amazed at how many squirrels you'll call that'll come in because when you're uh, out there hunting you out. hear that all the time yeah you hear it all the time and it's just it's a perfect imitator of it and it may get curious they come in and check you out uh, but it's it's great for any hunter to keep around but if you're going to take a kid squirrel hunting i highly recommend it guys we're going to take another quick break and we'll be back here in just a minute with some more southern woods and waters 